Hello, and welcome back to Mechanical Mastery. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have added a few new buildings, uh, and we're gonna dive right into it. So, taking a look at our quest book here, uh, we actually have a reward to gain, uh, some invar, that's good. Uh, we're gonna be getting into getting creative. Uh, this is the create mod. Uh, we're gonna be needing some andesite and andesite alloy. In order to make andesite, we need high covalence dust as well as cobblestone. We made this high covalence dust in the, another episode for the EMC links. And we are going to throw this in here with this and we will get ourselves some andesite. Uh, if we take some of this iron that I prepared for us and we make some nuggets, we can also turn this andesite into andesite alloy. We'll just grab four of them for right now. We don't need too many. Uh, that will get us started on this quest here, giving us a few of the uh, things that we're gonna need. We can throw these uh, engineer's goggles on if we really wanted to. And they go on your head, so they look pretty fancy. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump into what this stuff is over here. So my plan is we're gonna be putting water wheels inside of here to start generating some power. Uh, we're gonna be putting five each in these two on the side, and we're gonna be putting 10 uh, five on each side for here for the crushing wheels we're going to be making that is going to be the uh end goal of today so if we take a look at the recipe uh it does look a little bit daunting but we should be able to complete this without an issue today uh getting into uh the mechanical crafters and all that type of fun stuff so to get started uh we are going to uh take these large cog wheels and we're going to need some planks as well as some water wheels so take a look at what the recipe is water wheel uh just planks and a shaft so they gave us these shafts in uh the quest and we'll just take the planks and that should give us eight we need 20 of these uh, so we need a few more planks probably need to make a few more shafts so 16, uh, let's make a few more shafts just like this. And a little bit more wood. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Uh, oh no, those are the beams, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna grab all those. Okay, I guess it went into the chest. We'll just take this stuff and we'll get some logs. And before I forget, we're gonna learn this kelp. Uh, and we're actually going to grab some of it out and we're going to throw it in here and chuck on our coal. Uh, we need some coal back here to make sure this keeps on going. Uh, because we definitely want to make sure we don't lag behind on this. We have 19 in here. Uh, and that's generating a bit of EMC. As you can see, we got a pretty penny now. Uh, over 300,000 uh, in climbing. So that is very good. So let's grab our planks here. And we have 16, 17, 18. 20, so there's our 20 water wheels. So let's get them thrown in here. And four on here. And then and you're gonna want to hold shift to place them uh, the other way. So these should spin opposite ways. Um, is the goal. All right, so I got some stairs built up here. We're going to need to place the water in over these wheels. So uh, I placed some wood on this side so we get the rotation going this way. Um, I'll throw this here and throw this here. And we're just going to need to uh, keep bringing the buckets back and forth. Same thing goes for this side. So if you take a look, I put the wood here. And we're going to put these here. And I actually should fill up both buckets. Uh, this one on this side and then for the middle one you're going to want to have wood on both sides so we're going to be putting one on this side and then one on this side and that should maximize everything so with that we're going to be needing to make an induction smelter uh that is because we're going to need uh need bronze and the way i want to do that uh typically would be with like a press or uh with mixing uh, with create, but we can actually use the induction smelter uh, here and use zinc and copper to get two brass ingots. So uh, I believe I have everything we need. Uh, let's see, it's in. Uh, we'll throw this puppy down uh, and we'll get copper and zinc in there. And that should start going to get us bronze, uh, which it 
does. And we should be able to take a look and see what else we need. We need an encased fan because we're going to need to start getting quartz. All right. So like I said, to move forward, we're going to need an encased fan. So we need to get an andesite casing going. In order to make those, we need to throw down some wood. I uh, should strip it just like this. And that will get us the andesite casing. Uh, you can then that stuff up and we can make ourselves uh, an encased fan here. We need a propeller um, and we should be able to make this. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take a shaft and we're going to take a mechanical belt. Uh, it's the dry kelp which we prepared before and we are going to pop this over here and hopefully this is going to be spinning the correct way. Let's see. If I pop that there, that will go there. And we should be able to just pop the encased fan, which it is uh, blowing out to us, which is exactly what we want. So if we take a look at our quest here, uh, we got that, we got that, which gives us a funnel. And over here, actually, we can get the reward of soul sand. Uh, so if we grab that, we'll collect the soul sand. And we are going to... So if we take some water and throw it in front of this fan here, uh, you should be able to drop this stuff in. And it should magically turn itself into some quartz momentarily. And there it goes. So we'll get some quartz out of there. And that will bring us along into uh, the next few steps. So that means now I can now take the quartz we just made and make rose quartz with our redstone if we have any more left. Um, which we do. And we'll take this here and we are going to need to make, oh, not andesite. We need to use our redstone and we can make ourselves some rose quartz. So if we take a look at the crafting recipe for this, we need an electron tube, a brass casing, and a crafting table. So the electron tube requires polished rose quartz. Uh, which we're going to need to get sandpaper. We can do this in our hand. Um, so in order to make sandpaper, we need paper and sand. So paper. Uh, we're going to need to get sawdust. So we can grab sawdust by going into here. Making sure there's coal in here. And grabbing some logs, which I have on me. And throwing the logs into the pulverizer. And that should get us some sawdust. Just like that and we should be able to make some paper and with the paper if i can see where i put the sawdust there we go combine that with some sand and that just actually surprisingly completed the the quest there uh for tier one and we should be able to put this in our off hand and then hold the rose quartz in our one hand and there we go and you can use the sandpaper manually to get yourself some polished rose quartz all right and to make the uh brass casings it's very similar to the andesite casings that should be enough we're going to strip all these logs and then tap them with the brass casings here so we'll throw those down and we should be able to pick them up uh, 12 should be more than enough we are going to need 21 Mechanical crafters, you get uh, three per, so let's move all those. Um, that should be exactly 21. Throw those in there. Throw that in there. And uh, we should be able to build up our crafter. And with that placed up there, we should be able to break this here and get our cog wheels in. Uh, we will have to probably place some blocks here to make it easier. As it gets a little funky. We'll go up here just to place the last one. I uh, should be able to place it like that. And that should get that spinning. So with that spinning, we're going to need the wrench from create. So we'll go at create wrench. And I don't know if we're going to have golden sheets. We might have to make some. some so let's grab some gold out i don't need two pieces unless i have more in here i do and we should be able to just nab this real quick and throw this in here and we will grab them out with those three golden sheets we were able to make our wrench here uh, and we'll go back up to the mechanical crafter we built 
and we will oops, not do that. We will make sure without holding shift that these are all connected. So we're going to want to select an output point, which will probably be over here. And we're just going to connect all these up. Make sure we look and everything is connected. And then you can actually go over to the back here since we are working with. Uh, oops, I keep doing that. Since we are working with a crafting recipe that is the same on all sides here with the andesite alloy, you can actually connect these. And we will do that just to make our lives a bit easier. There we go. And here, 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 here. That stays. That goes. Got to go to the other side. Just like so. Uh, that way, when we have our andesite alloy. Uh, okay, I know we have some of. It's in my inventory. We should be able to click this. And as long as we had enough, which we don't. Uh, We'll make a little bit more. It will fill out the rest of this right here. Right. So with the final pieces going in here, andesite and four oak wood planks, that should start to craft. And we are seeing it go. Let's step away for a second so we can kind of take a gander at it. And that will slowly start to build out our crushing wheels. Uh, we can prepare for these uh, by getting a shaft on here to match the length. And we should be able to just pop them right on here. And here goes the final stage right here. And we should see it complete. It's not exploding. There we go. So we should be able to go over to here. And we see them moving into our car right here. So we get a set of them. And the nice part is we should be able to push one here and one here. And we have crushing wheels, a pair of giants. Uh, very, very simple to automate here. Um, we should be able to just pop in. Uh, actually, if we take one out real quick, pop in a piece of stone there. We will make ourselves some hoppers. The hopper, or at least the barrel here, with the hopper going into it. We'll place the hopper on top. We can break this block and place our crushing wheel back. And we should be able to put things in here, such as, I believe, coal. Which will be uh, a pretty big game changer for us. And we should see it coming through. And it is actually fairly quick. And we get these nuggets of experience. Uh, it is good. But this will be uh, replacing our pulverizer quite a bit. Uh, hopefully being able to keep us fully stocked up on power here so we don't have to do this as frequently we get at least 64 in each of these and with this we have successfully automated our crushing process uh, we essentially have free power with water and create and i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something today uh, if you did drop a like and uh consider subscribing thanks for watching guys bye